Retailers in Singapore are reporting delays of up to four months in orders from India because of the worsening COVID-19 situation. Prices for imported items like vegetables and flowers have already risen sharply and there are fears they could go higher. Melissa Go has more. This supermarket has been paying first-class prices to get India's fresh produce to Singapore on cargo flights this past year, with passenger flights between the countries few and far between. The flight charges have gone up by at least uh, three times. You know, it used to be $1 per kilo to air freight from India. Now it has gone up to $3 per kilo. So the prices have kind of doubled in Singapore, uh, especially for the vegetables. Mr. Ramalingan, who manages a chain of 20 Indian supermarkets and mini-marts, is concerned that freight charges could become more expensive as the COVID-19 situation intensifies. Customers are already complaining about prices. Sales are also down by about 20%. This supermarket continues to import Indian vegetables like this brinjal for customers that prefer its more tender and less fibrous bite. But moving forward, it's looking to import more from other countries, like these brinjals from Malaysia, for vegetables that can be up to three times cheaper. Already, Mr. Ramalingan has cut vegetable imports from India by almost 30%. Another stall has also been hit with not just pricier, but late imports. All these uh, clay pots and all that comes from Delhi. We expected the stocks to come in by December, but unfortunately, it also came just now. Products like cooking utensils and health supplements are in short supply. If you look at the raw material prices actually increased because uh, there has been a very shortage of production. Due to COVID, uh, a lot of factories are only working like uh, only 50% of the capacities. And uh, also, and due to that, it's a chain reaction. We have cut down a lot of our profits to maintain the prices as much as possible. But of course, with a, maybe about 10 to 20% increase in price. Worried about further delays, Mr. Rajakuma says stalls in Little India are already ordering for Deepa Valley, which is more than six months away. And the resulting advance payments are putting even more stress on already tight purse strings.